it's a way of if you want something delayed, if you want something sometimes I don't want to say disappear because it's always on the books, but sometimes it takes a while to come back. Okay. You send it off to the city manager. And you cannot send this off to the city manager. Yeah, that's all it is. And when the city manager sat there and drew up the motion with me, Councillor Grimes, the chair, sat there and agreed with it. And it was a consideration. All we were doing was asking for it. Why pressing? We're, we're just making it a stipulation of the agreement. Right. All we're saying, would you consider 10%? So I'm not serious. Obviously, so you no problem. Why do we have to send it back to the city manager? How do these kids benefit? Of course, they don't now. When to the city manager? It doesn't make any sense. 30 seconds. Okay, so that's what that's, 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 that's why. Generally, it's just, it, it kind of goes nowhere, and that's why you're voting against it. Um, also, it, it's, it seems like you're really into the TCH thing. And you, you visit buildings and things like that. Some people could accuse you of just trying to get these votes. So I guess I got these votes 14 years ago. So were you touring buildings? I, I, again, just asking. Were you touring, touring buildings 14 years ago? Up in Rexa. Up in Rexa. Yeah, I guess I'm a little different than other guys. Okay, we're ready? Okay. Okay. Yes, that's your question. Touring buildings. Even before it got in. Okay, so here, thank you very much, Carmen. Uh, I just have a mayor who just came to speak to us right now. First, let's talk to you about election signs. I know we talked about MLSC. We'll talk about that in a second. Where do you stand on this whole election signs? The election signs should be for 25 days. So it's a level playing field. The incumbents, councillors, um, I believe, want a shorter time so their competition can't come out and advertise. But if they're going with the request 14 days, 14 days is one day after the advanced polls open. So you can start technically voting on Monday, I mean on Tuesday, October 14th. If 14 days passed, people that are running against the councillors and the councillors would be able to put their signs up one day before people start to vote. How is that, how do the people that are challenging the incumbents have any hope in trying to get their name out? If that was the case, if they wanted the 14 days, then why don't they ban newsletters for all the councillors and not allowed to advertise their own name and use taxpayers' money to promote themselves? Okay, so that they would never do that, but um, I want a level playing field. Um, 25 days is fair for the competition, for the incumbents. Let's have it for 25 days. It's always been like that. There's no reason to change it. Um, when you can start voting, like I said, on Tuesday, October 14th is the advanced polls. And that's 13 days to the 27th of the general election. 13 days. So they're saying one day before that. So on Thanksgiving, on Monday, you can put up signs. That, that, to me, that's... Okay. Uh, back to the MLS. And some are accusing you of grandstanding and saying that you know, you're just trying to get votes here with this, uh, with no, this vote. Uh, these these like political games. What do you have to say about that? Well, there's only one group of people planning political games and trying to embarrass me again. There's a certain group of counselors, not all of them. Nobody. But nobody has helped Toronto Community Housing more than I have. Not just as mayor. Not just as council. Even before I was in. When my dad was at Queen's Park. But there's a difference with me. I lived very close. I went to school at Westmount, at Hilltop. The majority of my friends were from Scarlet Wood Courts. I spent a lot of my time in Toronto Community Housing as a little, little boy. And it's never changed. And so I've, I've seen from when I was six years old, junior kindergarten, all the way up, helping these people, seeing what they've gone through, having them over to my house, helping these people out. So Toronto Community Housing, if you want to say I was, I was born with it, it's, it's pretty close to it, that a lot of my friends, ever since I was in junior kindergarten, right up, lived in Toronto Community Housing. I've coached the majority of my kids, as you know, from Don Bosco, lived in Toronto Community Housing. I see every day what these people go through, and that's why MLSE cannot give 10% of their time on city property. They've dis disrespected every single kid, and these kids have next to nothing. I have seen it day in and day out, and, it is, and that's just a slap in the face. And basically what council said today is, I don't care about kids at Toronto Community Housing because they sent it to the city manager. When you send something to the city manager, that means 
You're sending them off to Never Never Land. But why not do programming for these kids? Not all kids in do. community housing, wait, play basketball. So it's not like it's it's you're just saving everybody. It's there's um, there's a lot of other things that you could do about and let's that. Deal with that. Let, let's, and let's deal with that. Let's deal that as we come across. If there's arts programs, if there's music programs, I encourage it all. Right now we're dealing with basketball. That's what we're dealing with. Let's deal with, with, with the basketball issue first. We can deal with other sports, arts, other hobbies they want to get into and support them. Today it's about a basketball facility and 10% is nothing. It should be much, much more. And all I did is ask for 10% for the, pure, the poorest, most vulnerable youth in the city. And they said, no, we're gonna send it to the city manager. When the city manager didn't even want it, said, no, it's fine. Mark Grimes said it's fine. Why would these guys play these political games? You, you also voted against the e-cigarette ban, did you not today? Yes, yeah, well, e -cigarette e -cigarette? well I said that from the beginning, um, I don't believe in this red tape, this e-cigarettes. You, you can't, even when they had smoking regulations, I'm not the one who's gonna go out and tell people you can't smoke in the park. If, if it's legal to smoke, let them smoke. I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and put more red tape, more bureaucratic nonsense, in front of them, it's just people's choice if they want to do it. Now, if it's you want to go to work, if you no, not, uh, not public no, places. no, it's city, city workplaces. If people want to be able to smoke legally somewhere, cigarettes, they're allowed. They should be able to smoke these e-cigarettes. I, I, I don't see what the problem is here. So it doesn't make any sense to have more red tape. Um, like I said, I, you're going to make it a smoke. Youth problem. can get anything. Youth can get their hands on. Cigarettes, booze, drugs, anything they can. So I, I, I don't buy the argument. I don't buy more red tape, which this is more government interference to each his own. Even like I said before, if you want to make this a smoke free city, go right ahead. I'm not going to support that. So that's all I have to say about that. A lot of your fellow councillors are wearing pink today. Tell me about your thoughts about that. Chris from Montana, for example, calling for the worst mayor the city's ever had. You know what, let's just skip the election uh, on October 27th and uh, we'll see. I, you know what, as you know, let's everything play out and uh, they're going to get a shock on October 27th. Does it, does it hurt you? That the Why does it hurt me? The, the taxpayers know what I'm doing is right upset. I've got a proven track record of success. They can wear whatever they want. They can jump up and down, but uh, I look forward to seeing them on October 27th after 8 o'clock and then the next day on October 28th, and I'll see him for another four years. I don't know if they'll be there, but I know I'll be here. Was it a more jovial attitude today? Just today? today I think I get to vote. Thank you. Sorry. That is Mayor Ford. He's heading back to uh, council chambers. Again, the discussion this afternoon will be on these election signs. Uh, the amount of days you can have election signs up. The proposal is 14 days from 25 days from the mayor's day earlier. Okay, now we can go on lunch. Right now. So much for that. Too much. Too much. Too much. Say no sir. I think we can go home. Yeah, and we got enough for two weeks. Yeah. Pre-election, that was two weeks worth of